Hello, social media. It's me, nurse practitioner Dr. Katina Kennedy, here with some health information for you. This is going to be a short, quick video on, on HPV, human papillomavirus. If you want detailed information, then you'll have to attend my webinar. I'll let you guys know when I'll have the webinar on HPV. But I wanted to give you just a brief synopsis of HPV. What is HPV? It's the human papillomavirus. You all have probably been diagnosed with HPV and you've heard so much about HPV. Every time I diagnose, not every time, but most times I diagnose with my patients with HPV, they, they, they're terrified. They, are, they go into depression and it really, really takes a toll on them. But I'm here to tell you, don't worry yourself about HPV. This is something that could have been in your body for years and years. It does not mean that you got it from your current partner. HPV is a virus that's transmitted via sexual intercourse and or skin to skin contact. There are so many different strands out there. I have my little uh, book here that I use to, when I talk to my patients about HPV, but you have different strands. Now the most common strands, the first thing you wanna do is when you're diagnosed with HPV, you need to find out, is it the cervical cancer type of HPV strand or is it the genital warts? Because if it's the genital warts, then you'll know those are the type, that's type six and 11, all right? HPV strands type 6 and 11 cause genital warts. And then you have your HPV strands 16 and 18 that cause 70% of cervical cancers. So you need to find out which one of those strands that you have because that's how you know what you need to do as far as screenings because if you have the genital warts type HPV, then you need to start examining yourself and examining your partner. And if you have the cervical cancer type HPV, then that means that you have to stay on top of your um, pap smears. So again, don't get distraught. Find out what type of strain you have and then you can proceed from there. The question that I get the most, when did I get this? How can I cure this? Well, when you got it, unfortunately, we can't tell you that. One thing about HPV, it can be active or it can lay dormant in the body. So that's why sometimes when you get your pap smears, you see that it's active, and then sometimes you see that it's not active. Now, just because you have positive HPV, it does not mean that you're gonna have an abnormal pap smear. That's why we do the screenings, so that we can stay on top of screening you for cervical cancers. And then when you come in, we also assess your external genitals for genital warts as well. So unfortunately, we can't tell you when you got it. Um, can you get rid of it? Once you have it, you always have it. It's in the body, but you can do some things that helps suppress it, such as keeping a healthy immune system, getting your sleep, staying less stressed, eating healthy, just doing things that are healthy for your body, decreasing the number of partners that you have, or use condoms, you know, that will help decrease the chances of certain type of strands of HPV. But remember, sometimes condoms can't, can't prevent the spread of genital warts type of uh, HPV because that one is what? Skin to skin contact. So again, it's all about getting your screenings. When you attend my webinar, we'll talk more about you know details and what causes it and this and that. So I'll give you more when you attend my webinar, but I wanted to just give you this information to let you know that it's okay. It's going to be okay. It's, I don't want you to stress out about it. Keep your body healthy, exercise, drink water, keep that immune system strong so that you can suppress the HPV in your body. All right? And don't forget to get your pap smears. And um, we'll talk soon in the webinar. Follow me on YouTube, Nurse K Kennedy, Facebook, Instagram. I'm here for you. Take care.